Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well and welcome back to our beginners video series on Windows Server 2022 here on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to create a two-way forest trust in Active Directory Forest. A forest level trust allows every domain in one forest to trust every domain in a second forest. It can be one way incoming, one way outgoing or two way. For example, you can configure all the domains in forest A to trust all the domains in forest B by creating a one way trust in either forest B or forest A. If you also want all the domains in forest B to trust all the domains in forest A, you need to create a two-way trust. You can use forest trust with partner or closely associated organizations. For example, MSFT Webcast and MSFT India might not choose to combine their Active Directory structure into a single forest, but instead might decide to use a forest trust to give employees of one organization rights and permissions in the other. Forest trust can form part of an acquisition or takeover strategy. First, let's understand the taste lab we will use in this video. We have two Active Directory forest in our taste lab. This is single domain Active Directory forest named amaseptivebcast.com. The FQDN of this domain controller is srt22-dc01.msftwebcast.com. This server has an IP address of 172.18.72.50. This is our second Active Directory forest named mytastelab.com. This is also single domain Active Directory forest. The FQDN of this domain controller is dc01.mightestlab.com. This server has an IP address of 172.31.72.50. Before you can create a forest trust, you need to ensure that each forest root domain can access the root domain of the other forest. You need to create the required DNS records and use the NSLOOKUP tool to ensure that you can resolve the domain names in the other forest. You also need to know the username and password for an enterprise administrator account in each forest unless you are setting up only one side of the trust and an administrator in the other forest is setting up the other end. In the first step, we will configure DNS conditional forwarders on the DNS servers of the root domains in both forest. Click on Tools and select DNS to open DNS Manager. Expand server name and click on Conditional Forwarders. Right click the Conditional Forwarders and select New Conditional Forwarder. Type domain name msaptivebcast.com. Now enter the IP address of the authoritative DNS server for msftwebcast.com domain. In this example, it is 172.18.72.50. It is recommended to enable store this conditional forwarder in Active Directory. Otherwise, you will need to create the forwarder locally on each DNS server. Click OK to save the forwarder. Now right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type ping srt22-dc01.msftwebcaster.com and hit Enter key. After looking at replies, we can confirm that this VM can communicate with root domain of other forest and DNS name resolution is also working. Now, we need to add conditional DNS forwarder in other DNS server too. Go back to MSFT Webcast DNS Server. This time, we will use Windows PowerShell to add conditional forwarder. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type CMD Lead add hyphen DNS server conditional forwarders on hyphen name mightyslab.com hyphen master servers 172.31.72.50 hyphen replication scope forest and hit Enter key to run the CM delete. The CM delete executed successfully. To test it, type ping dc01.mytastelab.com and hit enter key. After looking at replies, 
we can confirm that this vm can also communicate with root domain of other forest and dns name resolution is also working we can now move forward with creating the forest trust go to server manager dashboard click on tools and select active directory domains and trust right click on msftwebcast.com and select properties go to trust tab select new trust select next in the welcome window type mytislab.com and select next to continue select forest trust and click next make sure two way trust is selected and then click next select both this domain and the specified domain and select next to be able to create the trust in mytislab.com enter the credentials of an admin account from mytislab.com domain type administrator at mytislab.com now type admin account password and select next make sure forest wide authentication option is selected click next again make sure forest wide authentication option is selected and then click next review the information and then click next to continue click next again select yes confirm the outgoing trust and select next select yes confirm the incoming trust and click next select finish to finalize the two way forest trust configuration now we can see the trust populated in this forest we can see msftwebcast.com domain has forest wide two way transitive trust with mytislab.com domain under outgoing trust we can see we have forest trust and it is transitive and same under incoming trust we can confirm we have forest level trust with transitive type we can check on other domain controller if the trust is created on both incoming and outgoing go back to mytislab.com domains domain controller type domain.msc and hit enter key right click on mytislab.com and select properties go to trust tab we verify that the forest trust with the msftwebcast.com domain has been established for both incoming and outgoing note that both trust type is transitive so we can confirm that the forest wide trust is created successfully in both domains that's all for this video on how to create two way forest trust in active directory with windows server 2022 domain controller i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video please let me know in the comments section thank you all for watching this video have a nice day